guys, StarCraft here, and, well, I know I thought I was going to get one of the storyline ones, but I realized that there was an issue that came out this week, besides the Batman one, the Detective Comics 1000, that, well, I've already been making a habit of doing reviews of, and why stop now? So, we'll be talking about Freedom Fighters number four. Yep, just doing a more traditional review with, and so... The, you want, you're not going to see much of me throughout this one. So, yeah. It's Rob Venditti, who I met at C2E2. And believe it or not, he actually recognized me from my uh, creator spotlight on him. Great guy. Nice guy. Very passionate. Very, you know, care, uh, he was very polite and all that. A lot of the creators over there were. I mean, there were some that were a bit dismissive. Won't name names. But there were others that were, again, they were like, hey, how's it going? And as long as you didn't mention anything they didn't want to hear, with, I mean, yeah, they'll take, some of them will take criticisms. One in particular, I won't name names, but was surprisingly um, open to criticism. But for the most part, they were a whole, well, human beings. Nice, polite, fun, all that. But that's not what you're talking about. Let's see how the Freedom Fighters continue to deal with the rant sees as it looks like Uncle Sam has made his return. So, let's dive right in, shall we? Okay, let's start with the cover. It's Uncle Sam punching his way out from his grave, saying, not dead yet. Just pure awesomeness. What can I, well, anyone say? And we open up then as a bald eagle is flying through the air. Two people talking about it, how they've been brought, they've been eradicated in the 60s, but looks like some survived. And that one is shot. As it falls down, we see these two, well, Ratsies in training, who are talking about, hey, I got it, but on, um, yeah, you got it, but I should have gotten it, etc. Basically, it was an unauthorized weapon discharge, but things seem to be going fine as they're thinking about, um, uh, um, how, oh, this is going to impress a whole lot of people. At this graduation day at Mount Rushmore instead of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> and we're seeing them all lined up. The two guys making their way in in this pretty nice double page spread. As we then see deep inside Adolf Hitler's stone ear, we see Doll Woman is jackhammering away until, and, she, and she's told by, um, um, uh, I just forgot his name right now, but, um, oh, Cash. Yeah, Cash is telling the old woman, you, we don't have much time left, so just make do with what you have. And we're given a bunch of explosives that were created, that the human bomb had devised. And she starts putting them all in place. We then see, uh, we cut to back to the Heartland, which was introduced in prior issues. It looks like Uncle Sam is starting to dig his way up. There's all the media around as... Adolf the, Hitler the Second is on stage. He's about right congratulating all the soldiers. Congratulations! This is the day you, uh, you have earned. This is the day that you become forever a soldier of the right, and it is a day that you will never forget. Double page spread again as well. Mount Rushmore explodes. Uh, you know, right as the news cameras are looking on, as yeah, you see the soldiers are completely baffled. Dollum is just smirking and she's taking a photo. Now that's a defacing. And everyone's trying to protect, protect the Fuhrer. The Fuhrer, we must go. Meanwhile, Uncle Sam is continuing to climb his way up as he's even uh, trying to speak out loud asking, All Glory, is that you? He then makes his way down as he starts seeing other symbolisms of well, um, of America. Bear arms, Religion, peaceful assembly. He mentions names like Marianne, Hispania, Johnny Kenyuk, um, Britannia, uh, all of that. Basically, other representations of other countries. Oh, Canuck. Canuck is what it was. Yeah, so you can tell, you tell who each of them were. But then he feels like, well, the spirit of 76 is back. And, if, um, and he's ready to join in on the action. As we then cut to. Luftwaffe One, Air Force One, as Adolf the Second is on board, trying to take a drink. As well, his son shows up, and is basically he, his son. Well, the way he is, given what we set up, he has a bloody finger in his pocket that was bleeding through, and his father noticed the blood. And Adolf the Third is clearly just 
well, he's a psychopath, but his father just keeps on making it clear they keep doing this. We need to stop this. Son brings up you know, about Overman. Again, Adolf the second is saying we don't need him. The populace was subdued. There was nothing to report. And his son is just calling him out on it. There's always something to report, even when there isn't. That's how you keep the people in fear. Basically saying, make an example and they'll all fall in line. Make it random, especially. But and but then of course Adolf the Third makes a very good question, which goes back to something that was told that Cash had told Doll Woman. He, she suggested, why don't we just blow him up now? Drop a bomb on Adolf. And Cash points out, we can't. And Adolf the Third is basically pointing out, why didn't the Freedom Fighters explode you? What better statement of defiance than to assassinate the Fuhrer? They could have done so easily. What do you suppose that means, Daddy? If we didn't see this, the human bomb, they're basically hidden in the mountains in their vehicle. As he's slowly using a laser to cut off some skin samples to make more explosives. As Doll Woman shows up from the sort of ventilator and he's basically telling her off saying, Beat it! Every, on every, uh, ca- on cash coated everything in there in the same polymer that his suit is made out of. Which explains why nothing else is exploding. And... Basically, she, they literally find out he's a junior member. He's not even been around that long compared to her. She's trying to make friends and keep him company. He tells her off, but she say, neither, unlike the others, neither of us can have normal lives. I'm, I'm, my skin explodes at everything it touches, and she has to spend the rest of their time as a toy. And then he even says, Phantom Lady says, you used to have religion. You were a pacifist, and now you're just angry. You want to feel sorry for someone? Start with yourself. And we find out that, well, there was a doll man, a new doll man, and he was killed. And she basically says, religion is the only thing the Ratsies didn't take from me. That I gave up for free. What's your story? And uh, Phantom Lady calls them in uh, that they're ready to eat. And yeah, basically they're deciding to head off and he, and Bo- him and Bomb ask, do you really believe we can bring back Uncle Sam? And she basically makes a joke saying, Not too soon, I hope. Keep making those firecrackers, Bomber. I'm finally having fun. We then cut to South Dakota, where Adolf the Third is torturing one of the two guys from the beginning. Specifically the one that killed the bald eagle. And Adolf the Third is basically claiming, Your gunshot was a signal to start the attack. And the guy saying it was a bald eagle. Yeah, you know, the first third even brushes them off, saying, Those birds are extinct. How long have you been spying on us? Tell me. And he uh, and he then gets word to come out. And he showed, Oh, there was a bald eagle. And he's just like, Oh my. And then he asks about the other soldier, my Mayor, he's dead. So basically then says, Make sure Weber doesn't survive either. As one of his men go inside and, well, puts the guy out of his misery. And it's Adolf the third side, he's going to stuff and mount the, um, the, the eagle. We then see back in the heartland that Uncle Sam is getting ready as another message has been brought through to Adolf the third. And second, sorry. Uh, mentioning how there's been more attacks and for a brief moment it, they were showing an exemptually increase in um, freedom fighters. And then we start seeing a bit of a back and forth as Uncle Sam is listening in. He's trying to hear all the the speech of hope coming back all the while Adolf the second is drinking asking fa- his father what would he do then we see this brief moment of him freaking out and I don't know what that means but Uncle Sam basically makes that a big yell as we didn't see in Philadelphia a um, Ratsy is beating up on a poor man who's been tad probably because he's black um, it seems and Uncle Sam appears and knocks the, the Ratsy out and he's ready, and he's finally back. One Ratsy down, the rest of them to go. And, wow. Issue four, and already starting to kick into high gear. This, it's just really fun. And it's amazing. I just love it. And, well, I'll just get into my final thoughts right now. Freedom Fighters number four, and it's off to a great start. We're not even at the halfway point yet, and already Uncle Sam has returned. There's still further talk about Overman. Looks like Hitler and Adolf II is really starting to feel it. The plans for the um, 
Freedom Fighters have been doing have been very clever. Some of the characterizations, again, are really good. Like with Human Bomb and Dole Woman. Um, and how he's able to work, work around with some of their abilities, I like. Artwork by Eddie Barrows, it's still him. They haven't replaced him or put on a fill-in artist or anything like that yet, which impresses me. And Uncle Sam is back, like I said. And so it's pro and it's interesting on where this is going to go here. Also in what Adolf the Third is going to be doing, since we already see how crazy he is. And again, it's great storytelling. Can't wait for the next issue. Then to uh, tomorrow, I will probably get into back to one of my spotlights. Probably. Who knows? Who could say? So, until then, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.